princess. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm not really a princess. Anyway, um, I've just come back off holiday. Um, that's why I'm looking like crap. Been on a plane for a really long time and I'm ready for bed. Even though it's light outside, I'm still tired. But anyway, I thought I'd do a quick vlog because I need to talk to you about the stuff that has been happening in Britain over the last three weeks, maybe. Probably less than that, seeing as I've been away for two. Um, there's been riots. Now, I know you're all sick of hearing about them because they're just awful and people who are doing them need a big punch in the head, maybe. But the youth of today are costing Britain so much money, it is unbelievable. We've got the Olympics next year, which was going to bring Britain so much money in. And now we're having to take that money to spend on, like, reconstructing buildings and houses. Just because silly teenagers, mostly teenagers, have decided, oh, let's go riot, let's go burn stuff and beat up the police. The police have been there, have been put there to do a job. Now, I will be honest, now, I know there's a lot of speculation about the guy who got shot, and my heart does go out to his family because, you know, and um, I know there's a lot of speculation, I'll just put that there because I don't really want to talk about that as, you know, it might upset a lot of people. But this guy has been shot and then all this has just escalated. It's just got bigger and bigger and bigger just because of this thing. Now, I'm pretty sure this guy's family wouldn't have wanted this to happen. Now, bless, his, bless him, you know, it, I do feel sorry for him. But these teenagers who started off in London and now they've got little followers from... Leeds, Manchester, Birmingham, they're all little followers. They're not actually real people, you know, that have started off being his friends. They're just followers. They've listened to social network sites like Facebook and Twitter and BBM or whatever, and they've been sent to just start riots. Now, I don't know about you, but I know that I've been reading that a girl, I don't know her age, has been put, is getting a sentence of four years for putting on Facebook, let's go start a riot. But I don't know about you, that's pretty, that's a lot, a lot of years for just something you've written. She might not have even gone out and rioted, she might have just written it. And these teenagers who have actually been caught rioting are having to wear orange jackets and help clean up people's shots. I don't know about you, but my conscience will be eating at the back of my head knowing what I've done to that person's shop and then having to clean it up with them. I wouldn't want them back in my shop helping me. They should be chained up and thrown food at them or something like that because at the end of the day, they should bring back old rules. They should, shouldn't they? Like, they should lock them up with their heads in one of those vice thingies and just throw cabbage at them and tomatoes and all that jazz because at the end of the day these people have gone out of their way to cause so much destruction in Britain and then they're just getting punished by having to clean up it's just community service I know a lot of them have got prison sentence but Britain itself has not got enough cells to just put all these kids in prison I mean, the serial killers and God knows what else in these prisons. And then there's these people who've got a sick mind to go out of their way and just decide, oh, I know, let's go burn a shop. How sick can you get? Now, I will do a few links down here so you can read a few of the stories if you're American or whatnot and if you haven't heard of the riots. They have been pretty bad. I will show you some pictures down below, like some links, yeah, if you just press on them. And make sure you thumbs up if you like the video and leave comments to what you feel about the riots. I know they've blown over a little bit, but still, it's a very big subject and it is one of the biggest riots to go down in history. So, see ya!